Hi there, uh, my name is Jordan, and unlike in real life, I actually have a script to guide me here, so I'll, I'll just get straight to it. This is a video about um, shooting infrared with the uh, Blackmagic Pocket 4K. Um, that opening shot you saw started off red, that's how the footage comes straight out of the camera, and I just thought it'd be good for you guys to see it and what I'm then doing to it. Um, I am filming with a standard, bog standard, Pocket 4K, um, bought it about a year or so ago. Um, and then just the other week, I picked up a Hoya R72 infrared filter. It starts its viewing at like 720 nanometers. I think it lets pass as the base. Um, and I got it off eBay, thankfully a genuine one. I had to check that. But yep. So the first thing you'll notice is that a lot of the clips are very noisy. Uh, and that's the result of boosting things a lot. Um, I filmed at an ISO of 1250 and all of the shots at 1250 on a Tokina 11 to 16 millimeter cinema ATX lens um, at T3 and I think a 190 degree shutter that's why some of the motion blur looks a bit fun and I just yeah as I said I boosted it in resolve so that we can get some nice contrast and some highlights and get that really nice dark sky that um, standard 720 nanometer infrared photography gives. Um, I'm really pleased with how this is turning out. Um, when I expose for these shots, um, it shows on the false color that like the deepest shadows are and like some of the midtones are completely underexposed. Most of the midtones sit around the safe shadow exposure range for normal photography. And then the highlights normally sit somewhere between sh uh, shadow or like kind of okay midtone and beginning of like high midtones, um, which is not bad for a camera with like no filter with, with a filter built into it. So um, yeah, I think I can get better results if I use my 50 mil at f 1.8, get a bit more light in there. But overall, like this is fantastic to shoot with, and I just wanted to make a little thing to show people that yes, it is possible to do this and also this is specifically for a project I intend to uh, grain heavily so a lot of that noise will disappear so hope you enjoyed this and if you're curious go pick one up for yourself thanks guys